Today I want to talk to you about how to mix your bonsai soil. This is part 3 of a playlist. I've already made part 1 and 2, you can check out the links below where I showed you 7 types that I use of bonsai soils, what do they do, how to think about uh, each and every one of them. And also I've talked about the first and most important thing that you need to take into consideration when you're preparing the soil mix in order to repot your tree. So the most important thing is the species of the tree. Okay, the natural habitat. Where, where does it grow? Does it grow in a very humid habitat or does it grow in a very dry environment? But of course, we're talking about bone size and there's always more. Okay, so the second thing you need to take into consideration and you all have always have to keep it in mind is the artificial environment. The environment that you are growing your tree. Here we are talking mostly about indoor trees, okay? So the artificial environment is your living room, your balcony, your uh, bedroom, okay? Where you are growing the tree. That's the second thing you need to think about. So what I recommend is to get a sensor because you will need to take readings of the temperature and the humidity in the air. Uh, the temperature is not that important because indoors it's not that cold. It may be problematic in the summer if it gets too hot, but the humidity is very, very, very important when you're growing bone size. And every other day you take a look at that sensor so you can make an average, okay, of the humidity. So the, if you have an average of uh, your humidity below 45%, uh, that means you are on the dry side. If it's over over 50% most of the time, okay, on average, that means you're on the wet side and that's good. Even if we are talking about a tree from Africa, okay, that can withstand a lot of drought, uh, that doesn't mean it grows well, okay? It can survive there, but that doesn't mean it grows extremely well in a very, very dry environment. So where do I grow them? In my home, okay, in my balcony, on my balcony, uh, the, the, the air is very dry, okay? So how do I fix that? How do I fix the, the lack of moisture in the air? Well, of course, with what I put in here, okay? What I put in the pot, how I do my bonsai soil mix okay this is where i fix it so what i've discovered by testing year after year and experimenting with various bonsai soil mixes is that even if you are talking about a tree like this okay that grows in a natural habitat in a very dry area you need the soil the bonsai substrate mix to be more on the wet side okay because it just grows better that way of course a ficus will need more water retention than a little jade but this also has to have water retentive soil more than you would think because it's just better i told you i've done a lot of a lot of experimenting and it's just better because bonsai is also an art. Bonsai is not just about the trees surviving in pots, okay? No, it's about the trees thriving into the pots. They have to be as healthy as they can in order for you to be successful. So the first thing is the species, the natural environment. The second thing is the environment that they actually you actually grow them in and of course the size of the pot so the bigger the pot okay the less water retentive bonsai soil mix you will need as the bonsai pots or the pots get smaller and smaller and smaller the more water retentive the bonsai soil mix has to be because otherwise the pots being very small they will dry out 
very very quickly and how do we do that with such small pots this is a very very small pot okay we can use a lot of organic substrate but please please use high quality organic substrate like sphagnum moss dried up sphagnum moss that's the best and that brings us to the fourth thing you need to think about when you're mixing your bonsai substrate okay the stage of the tree for example this little ficus is in a very very early stage of development that's why it's in a training pot growing pot okay and i need to think about what this tree needs to do in this stage okay so by being in a very early stage of development this tree needs to grow and that's it so it needs to grow a lot of roots so i provided a big space for the roots to grow in and it needs to grow a lot of branches and a lot of leaves and foliage so i can cut it back hard and the trunks to get thicker so how do i do that well i need to let the tree grow in the same time i will be pruning back but i will let it grow a lot a lot a lot before pruning it so in this stage what i need to do when i'm mixing the bonsai soil i need to put a lot of organic into my soil to give it that boost of a growth okay but i'm telling you don't put more than 50 percent of organic into the substrate that's the max percentage you should do when we are talking about trees that are more matured okay so they're not in the development stage the first development stages anymore we're gonna cut back on the organic substrate okay we're gonna put less and less organic in our bonsai soil mix when we are getting more and more close to the final uh, final it's not final because bonsai is never finished but when we are getting closer and closer to the refinement stage of a tree as you can see this little uh, this little tree has a lot of uh, branches and uh, ramifications all over it we're gonna cut back more and even more on the organic so we're not gonna put so much organic into our soil mix the reason being that i don't want this to grow violent okay because violent growth gives me long internodes okay the distances from one leaf to another are very big and that's bad for this stage okay because i need the tree to be compact and the tree needs to have a lot of ramification because i need to build a very thick crown so we're gonna cut back on the organic but what i'm suggesting to you is always put a little bit of organic substrate when you're doing your bonsai soil mix even if your tree is in refinement just put a little bit just a little bit five percent you need to test it out if it's not good for you even though i don't think it's it will be bad for your tree because the tree uh, is very happy when it gets to this organic but okay if we're talking about uh, trees that uh, are 100 years old or more yeah that's another story but i don't think that's the case with you what i'm trying to say is that there's a lot of things to be correlated and uh, the playground is very big okay so these four things uh, there there are a must that you need to understand and to take with you in your mind to keep them there when you're repotting a bonsai tree so all this being said go on test it okay test it and see what works better for you because you need to think of all this stuff as suggestions don't think of them as rules because rules can uh, help you a lot but also rules can set you back a lot and i know this because uh, i've served the web and uh, uh, groups and uh, forums and everything and there 
were a lot of things there that set me back. In the end, came down with experimenting and year after year uh, doing things that were bad and doing things that were good and taking that information and correlating everything and getting to clearer and clearer conclusions that will help you out a lot.